guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick trick on how to make an animated mock-up using a design created in Silhouette Studio and then the mock-up created in Canva. So a couple things we need to do first. So I do have a blog post on the beginning part of how to design this. Uh, which is used as a water bottle sticker um, or a personalized name sticker. So I'm not going to go over that. You can check out the blog post, which I will link to. But in this um, video, what we need to do is we need to export this design with a transparent background. So I'm going to select the design itself, the whole thing, and then I'm going to go to File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive. You will need Business Edition for um, the ability to export as a PNG, which is what we need. And I'm going to call this just, um, I'm just gonna put Canva at the end of this so we know. And I'm gonna check the box for transparent background and click save. So that will save that file to my hard drive. Then I'm going to delete the file and I'm going to export one more time. This time I'm literally just trying to export a blank sheet. So I'm just gonna go to file, save as this time, save to hard drive. And this time I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to call this blank. This is intentional and you'll see why in a couple of steps. Again, I'm going to change that to PNG. I'm going to tell it I want it transparent and I'm going to click save. That's all we need to do in Silhouette Studio. Now we're going to switch over to Canva. This is all, this can all be done in the free version of Canva. So if you um, don't have Canva yet, make sure you go to canva.com and sign up. I have a link for that as well. Just sign in. You're going to click create a design. Now this is really important because in the free version of Canva, you cannot change the size or resize once you get started or you'll have to start completely over. So you want to make sure that you're picking the right um, option. And in this case, I'm going to pick mobile video. So that is going to create this vertical or uh, portrait style landscape, portrait style mock-up uh, area for me. And then I'm going to click apps and I'm going to go down to mock-ups. So I have a video or I have a blog post on all of these steps as well, which is why I'm kind of speeding through this part because I already have a tutorial for you. Um, this time I'm going to use this water bottle here and we're going to resize it and we are going to expand it to fill the entire area and then with it still selected I'm going to center it and you'll be able to see I'm going to get that line just crosshairs like that when the when the entire image is centered. Now before I do anything else I'm going to make a duplicate of this slide. We want to click on the slide itself and click duplicate. Okay, so now we have two. So we're only going to work with one for right now. And what we're going to do now is this area right here is where our images are going to fill. So I want to go to uploads and I need to upload my files. So the first one that I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my blank sheet. That's right here. You can see that will literally be blank in my file uploader, which is fine. Then I need to upload my name. Now for a water bottle, I actually need my name to be rotated. And so I need to do that first um, from my uh, finder. So this is how I'm going to do this. Um, here's my design. And in my finder, I'm just going to rotate, okay? So now I have it from the name going top down or, you know, this down this way. You could rotate it however you want, but we're, I'm just going to do it that way. And that will resave um, the design. So if I go back, now it is um, vertical. Okay. And now I'm going to click upload file and I'm going to upload that file. Okay. So now I have everything that I need in Canva. So I'm going to grab this design and I'm going to drag it into this section you can see it's thinking and now it's going to fill my design okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this second option here and this one i am going to fill with one of those transparent fills the reason being is when i make this animated i want it to be transparent okay i should also tell you i'm going to look you can look closely here 
if you don't want these red lines, which is um, coming from Silhouette Studio, what you need to do is make that line color transparent before you export, which I did on this version, so I'm gonna replace it so you can see the difference there, okay, and why that's important, okay? But one kind of gives you the, the look of this has an offset with a white border around it if you want that. This one has it there, but you can't really see it, so that's gonna replace that, okay? All right, now, to make this animated, I need basically four stages. Okay, so this part I'm gonna kind of slow down a little bit because I this is the video portion that I want you to see. I don't have a tutorial, a written tutorial on this part. So we have our design straight on and we have our design completely blank. Visually, this is essentially going to be the back of our water bottle. But now we need the design to be on each side so it can rotate. Okay, so I'm gonna make two more copies of this design here. So I'm gonna highlight over it and I'm gonna or hover over those three dots and click duplicate. And then we're gonna do that one more time. Duplicate. Now, these are all the same right now, but I wanna make them so this one looks like it's on the right and this one makes it look like it's on the left. So I'm gonna select this design and I'm gonna click edit. This is allowing me to edit the mock-up. So in this case, I'm gonna click left. Now the design is gonna to move to the left where you can see you can barely see it. On this one, I'm gonna repeat the same process, but I'm gonna tell it that I want it on the right, okay? So now what I have is front, left, right, back. So I need to move the back in between the left and the right, okay? Now, what you can see is that this entire series is gonna take 20 seconds because each slide is five seconds. That's way too long and it's not going to look animated. So what we wanna do is we wanna go up to the timing and we wanna change this. You can change it to whatever you want, but I'm going to change it to 0.5 seconds, so half a second, and I'm gonna apply that to all of the pages. Now, if I put my um, starter bar back here and click play, watch what happens. It looks like my design is moving around. Okay, so it's only doing that one series, but if you export this, you can see the full thing only takes two seconds. If you export this by going to share, download, and you change it to GIF, which again, all of this is possible in the free version. And the reason that um, this little part here, see how it has that little plus sign or that little crown sign, same with here. I'm not able to access those features on a free version. Those are Canva Pro options, which you can get more options if you wanna increase the um, DPI um, or you know download each one individually. You can use those options. You can upgrade to Pro and I actually have a 30-day free Pro trial for you if you wanna click the link in the description or up top here. Um, but everything that I have just shown you is possible in free, okay? And I wanna click download. Now it's downloading, and what this is going to look like, I'm gonna just put this on a blank page so you can see what this looks like. Okay, now you've downloaded it, but if you go to try to open this, it's gonna look very funky. It's gonna look like four different designs. So don't be alarmed if, if you go to downloads and you try to look at your, um, GIF, which I have right here, it's not going to look right. See how it looks like all these different pages? That's not what you want. What you wanna do now is upload it to social media or wherever you're gonna put this and you will get the rotating GIF as if it's animated to show all sides of the water bottle. And that is how you can make animated mock-ups right in Canva for free. If you enjoyed this video, check out the others that I have. Make sure if you're looking for um, any types of tutorials or on software or cutting machines and printers that you check out Silhouette U um, or Silhouette School Blog. Hope to see you guys around.